When I started headshot photography, there was already this market in New York for it was really great. Photographers were charging a good amount between 800 and 1,000 bucks for a headshot. And I just looked at it as like, if I could get to where those guys are, that would be amazing. And with a lot of hard work and a lot of energy and, and doing it, it, it happened. And the way that it, I believe it happened was coming up with a formula for it. So I just went really simple. I was like, I want this to be the most simple thing I can do. Simple lighting, no background, just white, and totally about the person. I'm very technical with my work, with what I do, to fine tune it and to get what I want out of the, out of the file. Um, but I'm also more of an artist with the coaching. So I think adding the two together gave me something, that, that a recipe that wasn't out there. My um, skill, I would say, has been honed over the years to where I read people really well. I've called myself 90% therapist, 10% photographer for years. I just thought it was funny. I was like, I'm not really, the photography's done. I, I got my lights haven't changed since 2004. I shoot the same camera. I shoot at the 6.3 at 80th of a second at 200 ISO for years and years and years and years and years. Nothing changes. So for me, it's not about photography. It's about the interaction and the communication between the subject. Our job as photographers is to make people comfortable and bring life into the camera, in my opinion. If somebody is stiff and lifeless in front of your camera and you take the picture, it's your responsibility. You took that picture. If you can get that person to be alive and create something interesting that others want to view, you took that picture. Those are the pictures I want to take. A photographer asked me, he said, What's the, what do you think the difference between a picture and a portrait is? And I was like, is this a trick question? <laughs> I was like, I have no idea. And he said that it's a portrait once the person's aware you're photographing them. So I just did a, a thing and they gave me a model and I usually like pulling people from the audience. I was like, all right, I'll take a model. So I put the model in front of the, in front of the, the camera and she just started going. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> Stop doing that. I was like, I don't shoot this kind of stuff. The audience was like laughing. I was like, just stop, all right? Just stay there. And it was just like, it's not my thing. Like, I take ownership of the person's expression. So if a model starts modeling and I don't like, I mean, I don't want coined, posed, inauthentic shots. What I want is the person to own it and I want the person to be real and I want it to be human. So I was trying to get her it was really loud and I, she, I don't think she got my direction. I was trying to get her to break and be real and I do it through a way where I communicate with them in a way that's kind of confusing, which I love and it, and it works because I'm always dumbing down the session and then I can mold them. Once I got them to understand that I'm, that I'm messing with them a little bit, then I can kind of mold them and do what I need to do with them. So with her, I just said, all right, I want you to do 10 and I just sat there in front of an audience. I said. I want you to do, just give me 10 faces, I'll shoot each 10, I'm not gonna say a thing. And I shot 10 shots at the end after I had already shot her. And I turned around and I said, those aren't portraits for me, those aren't headshots for me. I didn't take those, uh, to me I didn't take those. Those are pictures that I took of a girl that was in front of me doing that. I didn't direct her. I didn't give her anything. It might have been my light, I might have pressed the button, but I don't feel like that's my portrait, I don't own that. So until I direct somebody, I don't feel like I own the picture. It's important to me because I came from headshot territory and I am a headshot photographer that I want to bring it up a little bit in the industry. Like I want people to respect headshot photographers a little bit more and what they do because it is about people and it is about the, that person from here. My goal every day is not only to take an awesome picture of somebody, but to give them an experience.